Fire signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 23rd of March, 2023. Time here in Genoa, Italy is 11, 12 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. My apologies for the noise. If you hear people talking, knocking, that's because I'm on another boat. I don't have a choice right now, but I'm um, sorry about that. And please bear with me, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo Taurus in Capricorn. What's coming up for them within 24 hours? Please bear in mind that there will be a lot of details in this reading. It may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, okay. I feel like um, with the high priestess here, you're going to be feeling very calm. Okay. I, I have this feeling of you even though ten of cups here in reverse if you're outdoor if you're doing something um that's uncomfortable out of your comfort zone i feel like you're still going to be very patient and stay very calm unless the spirit's way of telling you that perhaps you need to stay calm despite um being in a comfortable situ uncomfortable situation or uncomfortable environment okay we've got the nine of ones right here eight of cups in my verse i think you are going to have to decide as well whether you want to go out of your comfort zone or stay wherever you are stay wherever you add where it's comfortable hope that makes sense to you so this is king of pentacles and love verse this is definitely you but doesn't matter king of queen is not gender specific it could be you or it could be somebody else because now if i just saw the queen the queen of cups here in an upright position will of fortune in love verse it could be you or this person but i feel like okay the masculine energy which is the king of pentacles this masculine energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Pisces, or could also be a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This person, within 24 hours or longer, I feel like they're gonna... If this person hasn't been talking to you, they're not gonna talk to you <laughs> within 24 hours. I feel like because they're standing at a crossroad with the two of wands here, indecisive, right? There is a very stuck energy here with the Eight of Cups and my first. Perhaps this person's guards are up. Maybe you've hurt this person before in the past, or they may have, or it could go vice versa, okay? But the Queen of Cups, if you're embodying the water energy, which is Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, I feel like this is somebody you love and you do care about, okay? And the Will of Fortune here is the one verse. Another stuck energy, and very, very stubborn energy as well with the Emperor. So this person could be an Aries. Strong fire energy, also strong earth, and some water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hierophant in my voice, Ganicate, maybe you and this person are currently separated. And also, again, Hierophant in my voice, you know, I always talk about how it's like a structure, organization, something that you religiously do, um, some sort of habit, something that you practice. Would it be in reverse? I feel like some of you. You could be split into two, whether you should stick to how things used to be or change some things up, right? But I still feel very strongly, um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, there's this emperor or this king of pentacles and love verse, this very masculine energy. I feel like if you're wondering if this person is going to reach out to you, not yet. Definitely not within 24 hours. It could go much, much, much longer than that, okay? Let's see more. My apologies again for the noise. 
So we've got the Queen of Swords here in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then we've got the King of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I feel like this is someone again that you resent. You're kind of upset with this person, but you care about this person there's somebody you love you care about that maybe you like to hear from i feel like they're very indecisive whether to reach out to you or not again there's a very guarded energy with the nine of wands unless again roles are being reversed here i feel like this person really wants to express to you how they feel but also at the same time they feel very vulnerable all that they don't want to be vulnerable and wanting to be in control right with the emperor here wanting to be in control and again very stubborn energy and just keeping quiet here with the high priestess this is very specific and it's just for some of you i feel like there is this energy where this is very specific, yeah, again. Some of you could be thinking about changing religion um, or changing what you believe in, okay? Something that you've been believing in for a very long time, I think you're going to change it, like any types of religion or uh, it could also indicate mindset for some of you. I'm going to pull out a few of these romance angels. Again, I apologize for the noise. Okay. We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like you're going to be very happy um, <laughs> within 24 hours or longer. Although the Ten of Cups here is in reverse, I feel like you're going to feel really happy that somebody is going to be interested in you or that somebody is interested in you. Or two of Wands, that you're going to have two options in love or two options in work opportunities, job opportunities. Love yourself first, your self-respect. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, I don't know why I keep getting... Within 24 hours or longer, someone is going to show you interest, okay? Pa very passionate about you. If, if you've been dating, um, even that, I'm seeing you walking on the street and people are noticing you. Um, I don't know. I just feel like you're within 24 hours or longer, you, you're going to look very attractive. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you're dress, dressing up, you're going somewhere. Okay, so we've got the getting to know each other. Some of you are going to be meeting someone new or seeing someone again, getting to know this person better. I feel like it's a romantic connection for most of you. If not, this could be a friend. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, I think it could be this individual. Maybe he or she wants to reach out to you either to forgive you to, or ask for your forgiveness. I don't see this person doing it, though not within 24 hours. It feels like they're this very stubborn energy and they're very indecisive. And we've got unrequited love. I think maybe this person is afraid of rejection. And now we've got attraction, see? And we've got children. Some of you are going to be surrounded by children within 24 hours or longer. Although there's this sense of, you know, um, carefree. Like children are very carefree. And I think this has something to do with your personality. Perhaps spirits could be encouraging you to just be carefree. And you're going to be, you're going to seem more attractive to people. I don't know, something about you smiling a lot. Children smile a lot. Right now I'm seeing a child's face smiling. Yeah. So, basically encouraging you to smile. That's what I'm seeing. To smile more and you're going to be attracting more people. If you're going on a date, if you smile more, your date is going to like you 
more, okay? <laughs> That's definitely what I'm seeing here, all right? Virgo Taurus and Capricorn, I hope you resonated with this reading in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I'm so sorry for the noise, um, people talking. That's because my, the other boat that I was staying, the captain was taking the boat out for like some training or something. So he asked me to come to this other boat where they are actually refurbishing um, right now at this moment but I really don't have a choice so thank you so much for your patience um, don't forget to hit like share and subscribe if you resonate in some way shape or form and I'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below um, feel free to subscribe to both of my channels Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0 and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Alright, take care. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. See you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.